Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to resolve some webcam issues you might be having in Windows 10. Now, primarily this tutorial is geared towards people who, after upgrading a Windows 10 build, are experiencing issues accessing their webcam, whether it be through Skype or Gmail chat. Um, I don't know how many people use that or if you're just trying to record yourself on the screen with whatever kind of recording software you're using you might be having issues and it won't work so in this brief tutorial I'll be showing a workaround for that so this is going to be very simple we're going to start by heading over to our start menu and we're going to right click on it and then left click on run you want to type in reg edit r-e-g-e DIT and then either hit enter on your keyboard or left click on OK. You will receive a user account control pop up asking you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC. You have to have a ministry of privileges in order to proceed. So once we've gotten past that, you have to left click on OK. Left click on the little arrow next to each key local machine, then the one next to software. Then you want to scroll down to get to WoW 6432 node. Left click on the little arrow next to that or click on the folder. And then you want to go down to the Microsoft folder. Left click on the arrow next to that. Now there should be something that says Windows Media Foundations. Left click on the little arrow next to that. And then finally left click on the platform folder. Double click on it and you see on the right side here we just have one default registry value so what we're going to do is we're going to right click inside of this empty space here and then left click on new now you want to left click on D word 32 bit value it does not matter if you have a 32 or 64 bit operating system or motherboard you still want to click on the 32 bit value here so underneath the name you want to type in enable frame server mode and then hit enter on your keyboard so if we double click on this value it'll say that the value data or value data is set to zero this is the number that you want if it's one or any other number make sure you set it back to zero at this point just click on OK and when you restart your computer everything should be resolved for you guys so I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.